Hello, people. I am Javi Kawe. Joining us is Yvette Gregory and Achara Kirk. Hello. We're going to look at Dev D, which is a remake of DevDOS, right? Yes. Or a modern day adaptation. Or a modern day Either adaptation. Way. Either way. That's the title. Dev D, a remake or a modern day adaptation. Either way. I believe. Um, Did you just pick up that girl on the bus? Oh. Oh. It's like some requiem for a dream type stuff. Yeah. Yeah, see it's Paro again. I was gonna say, I was like, this this has gotta be Anurag Kashyap. Like, I didn't know it was him, but like, when it got through the, I'm like, the, the, the edginess of it, and the mm -hmm. crazy camera angles, and it, it being experimental, I'm like, this is probably Anurag Kashyap, if I had to bet. Anurag Kashyap does a lot of these, like, right. very edgy films, very violent characters that are not the most likable, the kind of the anti-hero, usually. Yeah. Uh, he's very, very good at portraying those characters. As soon as I saw him, I'm like, yeah, that totally, like, that's right, about yeah. what I was expecting. In a good way, in a positive way. This is a film that I would definitely watch. That thing at the end where it was, basically, it was high. That's what it was portraying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of that weird, crazy vortex look yeah, like to it. Yeah, like a tunnel. Yeah, that was crazy. I was not expecting that, and the music caught me by surprise, but it makes sense now that I know who's the, who's directing it, who directed it rather. Yeah. How did you feel about that? Because like this is the first like edgy Indian trailer that you've seen. Yeah, I definitely was caught off guard. That was what I was expecting. Yeah. No, I'm like waiting for like the happy and the colors and yeah. the music and the dancing, but it looks really cool. I mean, it makes yeah. it makes clear that there's like variety in Indian cinema. That, you know, the dancing and singing is what everyone kind of expects. Yeah. And then I show them this kind of thing, they're like, oh, I didn't know that was in India. I'm like, yeah. That's what I was gonna say. I yeah. wouldn't have necessarily thought it was an Indian film. Right. There's so much variety. I thought this was an interesting adaptation. Obviously, we still haven't watched Dev Das right. because there was an issue at the cinema. Okay, let me let me let me let me get into that real quick. Okay, so here's what happened. Basically, we were supposed to watch a show at a certain time, and it was playing at a only one particular theater that was near us, and we had a lot of agenda around that show time. We go to the theater, and apparently, like the projector broke or something like that. There was a major error with the theater, not us. And so we just never got the chance to watch that film the and way we been, intended yeah. to. Go. And it's been taken off Netflix as well. So, yeah. so like it was on and then now it's not. But anyway, we saw the trailer uh, with Shah Rukh Khan, which was really cool. Devdas was the classic story, right? And this one is the updated one. And it's really interesting how like they've taken- It's his... a stark contrast. It's, well, Yes, but it's been modernized because that was a period piece and mm -hmm. he was drunk all the time. This one, he's got drugs. He's, dr he's high on drugs all yeah. the time, being promiscuous and all that jazz in this kind of seedy underworld. That makes sense. He's taking him to a, a dark, dark yeah. tip place. It's arguable that you could still do a story about a guy who's just a drunk. This certainly ups the ante in terms mm -hmm. of darkness. Like, how do we 
emphasize even harder just how dark this path is because his heart's broken. Right. I buy into it. I mean, it's obviously something that I have not encountered myself, but I can see how someone could walk that path and end up mm -hmm. doing these things that you know, hopefully most of you don't have to. It would be interesting to watch Dev Das and then watch Dev D. Yeah, back to back. Yeah. Just to, yeah. Just to compare. I would watch this just for the cinematography, just for the directing style and whatnot, because I feel like Anurag Kashyap has a lot to offer in that regard. Mm -hmm. he's, he's a very, very artistic director, and I appreciate that about him. The one thing that you can be guaranteed with Anurag Kashyap is it's unlike most things you've seen. Indian or not, it's like it's unlike most films you've seen. Like, well, you definitely get that from the trailer. I'm very interested in this. How about yeah. you? <laughs> It really takes you into his world, the yeah. way that they've done it. And I think it's kind of like mesmerizing. And so I'm sort of just like, like I'm like, I wanna go watch it now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like right now. Even when somebody plays like a bad character like that, especially when they make them, it's the lead character and it's his story. There's something about that character that we're still rooting for them. Though. Yeah. It's that empathy, you know? Yeah. 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 Okay, so that, you guys might not understand that. We had a whole talk about empathy earlier. Uh, but yes, I agree with you. But like I was saying earlier, the kind of sh that, that shot where it's like fixed on the guy's body, Darren Aronofsky is the, is the first proponent of that shot that I can recall in, main, in any kind of remote mainstream cinema or like that will record was more indie, but a lot of people know about that. So I don't know if that's like, it's somewhere in between indie and mainstream, but he was the first to really, really use that shot a lot. And I think it impacted a lot of new up and coming filmmakers. I'm almost certain Anurag Kashyap is a big fan of, of um, Aronofsky and he liked Record for a Dream because I can see its influences here. But anyways, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Please check out Yvette Gregory on the social media. Follow at Shara Kirk on the social media. If you want to help support the channel, go to patreon.com slash Jabby and you can check out the rewards and tiers there for you know whatever you're able to contribute if you're interested in that stuff. Check out other reactions, reviews, and short films. I'm Jabby Kawai. This is Yvette Gregory. Yeah. A Tower Cook. Peace out.